Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another It Came From The Bargain Bin, right here on Reaction and Review UK. Yeah, sorry I haven't been doing a lot of these lately, it's just trying to find the time to do it when also to write reviews, rants, comics, and going to college, and being ill. So, yeah, time is not my friend right now. And, speaking of the bargain bin, today we are stepping in unfamiliar territory. Very unfamiliar territory. <laughs> um, yeah, I should explain. Went to the local bargain bin today, and a lot of the DVDs there, it's stuff we've already watched, or stuff I've watched before, like The Amazing Spider-Man and X-Men First Class. And a lot of it was a lot of Easter DVDs, like a Yogi Bear DVD, Bugs Bunny. And to be honest, it seems kind of pointless to um, do a reaction review for an Easter movie, since we're in April now. It's like doing a Christmas review in August. So I decided to go for the cheapest one I could find, and... Um, Jackie Collins' Paris Connections. I don't know what the hell I've got myself into, but... Yeah. I mean, look at this DVD. Do I look as if I'm the target audience for this? So, yeah, I know nothing about this. I don't even know who the fuck Jackie Collins is, but, um, well, let's get started. And you know what? I think I'm going to need this. That in mind, grab your tranquilizers. It's time to be confused, wonder what the fuck is going on, as we take a look at Jackie Collins' Paris Connections. So, this is what hell looks like. What if all the more Sonic recolors in there? I'm bored. Seriously, we are about nearly 10 minutes in, and I am bored as hell. She was my friend. <laughs> I love the emotion there. She was my friend. <laughs> you get more emotion out of a fucking G.I. Joe cartoon from the 80s. You could uh, remake this with the Captain Scarlet puppets and you wouldn't notice a single difference. People call that fashion. Hmm. What's the correct way to phrase this? Can anybody tell me what's French for a load of old bollocks? Oh, oh, right, sorry. I'm getting carried away again. You know, I like Coco. More than I yeah. Would. <laughs> I like Coco Pops too. <laughs> Seriously, what kind of fucking name is Coco? Really? I'm, I'm serious. Who names their child Coco after a fucking cereal mascot? I mean, Tony, yeah, I can see that because it's a great name. But fucking Coco? The fuck? I've run out of things to make fun of here. Thank you. I think I might just wait for the movie to end and then I'll yep. make a full review, so... If I can think of a joke, I'll make one, but... yeah. Oh, that's wrapped up that mystery, then. No big reveal, or no unmasking Scooby-Doo style, just... Oh, it was this guy. Oh, that's, um, taking the wind out of this movie's sails a bit. Well, that's going to conclude Jackie Collins' Paris connection. Let's just put a stunt of that. Alrighty then. Um, I don't even know where to start. I want to just say the big question, I didn't hate this. You know, I was really expecting not to enjoy this and hate the ever-loving piss out of it, but to be honest, it, it's not awful. It's not a bad movie, it's just I'm clearly not the target audience. I mean, I like the cinematography. I thought the casting was, you know, what I would expect. I mean, it doesn't rely on too any big names, but the people they had, I thought it was alright, you know. Did what it needed to. Loved the music. Don't know why, but the music was so freaking catchy and shit. But apart from that, it's just... I really don't know what to say. I mean, I know nothing about fashion. 
as you can tell by my poor dress sense. Um, I don't really speak French, and I mean, it tries to be like one of those um, like French murder mystery things you hear about. It's not exactly Poirot or stuff like that. That's not French, James. Basically, what I'm getting at, there's nothing really to hate. I mean, nothing stands out as like, oh, I fucking hate this, it's terrible. Brr. It's just... Eh. But I will say, though, uh, I enjoyed this more than Battleship. Then again, that's not really saying much, considering it's Battleship. Uh, it's a nice little easy piece. It doesn't have too much of plot or, you know, too many things going on. I do think, though, it'd be nice if they elaborate on more things, you know, gave more character explanation or gave more context and stuff. And some of the murders just didn't make a lot of sense. They just grabbed them from out of nowhere. And that reveal that the killer, the killer of the first two girls was resolved off screen felt kind of weak. Like, something like that. That'd be like, um, let me think. Um, trying to think of, just trying to think of a good example here. I'll, I'll jump cut to when I fall one. That would be like the subplot in The Dark Knight Rises with Talia Ghoul was announced off-screen. You didn't see any of it, you know? It's just, it's kind of lazy like that. I mean, it would be nice if this guy got a face so we knew who we was talking about or just it was resolved, you know? It just felt really rushed if you do it that way. As I said before, I am clearly not the target audience for this. But given the choice, if I was stranded on a desert island and I had this or Battleship... I'd probably go with this as well, you know? Yeah, it's an interesting little story. It's, I guess, C- minus in terms of quality. I mean, the camera works average. It looks like it was filmed with a basic, like, BBC cam. You know, the kind of cameras you see in things like Red Dwarf, Black Adder, Bottom, stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, it's nothing to hate. I mean, I was... There's nothing really to overly hate about it. It's just okay. Or whatever French for OK is. So, yeah. With that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to conclude another It Came From The Bargain Bin. I have been Random. Take care. And I'll see you all in the near future. Peace. Are you still here?